Hi, welcome to Bigin's 30 minute setup promise. Today, I'm gonna to help you set up your Bigin account in under 30 minutes. Here's what we're gonna do. Create team pipelines, customize modules, create roles and profiles, invite users, import data into your account, create tasks, calls, and events, integrate your email account, and set up telephony. So let's begin. Go to begin.com and sign up for a free trial. There are five important concepts in Begin that you should become familiar with before you begin setting up your account. Number one, modules. On your left, you can see different modules available in Begin. Modules help you store and manage your data. Modules are like containers, and each module stores a specific kind of data. In the default sales setup, we have modules like pipelines to store your deals, contacts to store information about your prospects and customers, companies to store information about the organizations your contacts work for, products to store details about the products you sell, activities to manage your scheduled activities like tasks, meetings, or calls you have with your contacts, and finally, dashboards to keep track of key metrics regarding your organization's overall performance. You can customize the modules in your account based on your requirements. Number two, records. Each row of information inside each module is called a record. Each contact you save and deal you make is a record, and each record holds important information. Number three, pipelines. A pipeline is defined as a step-by-step -step visual representation of any business process, just like a Kanban board. You can use stages in a pipeline to represent each step in your process. It can be your sales pipeline, support ticket pipeline, refund pipeline, or anything that needs records to be moved through a sequence of stages. Number four, roles. Most organizations follow a hierarchical configuration of authority where employees are categorized based on their roles like CEO, vice president, COO, manager, sales reps, etc. Roles will help you replicate that arrangement in your Bigin account. Roles determine the data visibility any user has in your Bigin account. Users in the higher level of role hierarchy can access data of users in the lower level, but not vice versa. And number five, profiles. Profiles help you define fine-grained permission sets for users in your Begin account so that you can control who can perform which actions inside Begin. For example, sales managers perform managerial activities like importing and exporting data, creating workflows, inviting users, and so on. To do so, managers will need access to those features that let them perform admin operations. A sales rep, however, doesn't need access to those features as their activities inside Bigin are limited to non-admin operations like sending emails, making phone calls, and closing deals. In this case, you can create two different profiles, sales manager and sales rep, with appropriate permission sets which you can assign to the appropriate users. Now that you're familiar with these terms, setting up your account is easy. First, let's go to the Pipelines module. Everything in Begin starts with Team Pipelines. Any business process you want to manage can be converted into a Team Pipeline. You can store specific types of records like deals, tickets, orders, inquiries, and more in each of these Team Pipelines. Each team pipeline will have its own set of fields, stages, and permissions. This way, you can capture workflows across sales, onboarding, customer service, marketing, and legal teams using team pipelines, and thereby make your customer-facing teams more productive. As an example, I'll set up two team pipelines for a car dealership, one pipeline for sales and one for service. A default sales pipeline already exists while signing up. I'll tweak it a bit to match the dealership's requirement, but let's create the service pipeline first and then we'll come back to the sales pipeline.
click the new pipeline button here. There are two ways to go about this. We can either create a pipeline from scratch or use a pre-built template from the options here. We also have something called sub pipelines. We'll touch on this in a bit. Let's go with create from scratch. This is my service pipeline and the records in the service pipeline will be called job cards. Also, I only want the service department to have access to this pipeline. So I'm adding only their profiles here. Other profiles like sales or finance can't view or manage the records in this pipeline. Now let's add the stages to this pipeline and hit next. I'm going to remove the fields that aren't required for this pipeline. I can also add new fields that I want this pipeline to have right here. These fields will be available only for this pipeline and won't be duplicated in my sales pipeline. And there you go. A new field has been added to the pipeline and that's it. So now every time a car comes in for service or repair, a job card will be created in this pipeline and the service team will be able to see which stage each vehicle is in. Let's go back to sub pipelines. You can create sub pipelines within your team pipelines if you have different sets of stages within a single business process. Say for example, this car dealership sells cars to individuals as well as to companies. Though both fall under the sales pipeline, the business processes slightly differ. So to capture that, we can create two sub pipelines for retail sales and corporate sales. Let me show you how. Go to sales pipeline, click the plus button at the bottom of the page here. This is the corporate sales pipeline. Add the open and close stages for this sub pipeline. And that's it. Next, let's tweak the standard pipeline and make that the retail sales pipeline. Click manage stages here. Then click the edit icon here to rename it to retail sales. Remove the stages you don't want and add new stages as needed. Hit done. And now we have two sub pipelines, corporate sales and retail sales. I can further customize this sales pipeline by allowing access to only the sales department so the service or finance departments, for example, can't access this pipeline. Our pipeline is set. Next, let's customize other modules. It's important that we customize the modules and create relevant fields before we add any data to this account. So a quick recap, modules are containers with which you can categorize your data. The data types that are present in these modules are called records, and the information within a record is captured using fields. Steps. Go to the settings page and then to the fields here. There are two sections here, module fields and pipeline fields. Let's go to module fields. I'll rename the products module to cars and the contacts module to customers. Click the Customize Fields option at the bottom here. I want to edit the Car Category field and add the Pick List option here. Let's remove the Description and Car Active fields from this module and click the Custom Field button here to add a color field. You can select the Mandatory field box if you want to make this field mandatory. Now let's move to the customers module and create a custom field called customer ID for this module. Select the do not allow duplicates box to prevent users from creating multiple customer records with the same customer ID. That way we can avoid duplicating records. Since customer ID is personal information, you can select the encrypt field box so that the data is converted into cipher or non-readable text that is accessible only to the authorized parties. And that's it. We've customized the modules to meet the dealership's business needs. The next course of action is to invite users to join this account. We need to create roles and profiles first so that we can assign them to the users when we send the invites. We know that roles help us control the visibility of data in a hierarchical way and profiles help us define a user's access to data and features in Bigin. 
Head to Settings and then Users and Controls. In the Roles tab, you'll find two default roles, CEO and Manager. Let's rename the Manager to Sales Manager. Next, let's create some roles, Sales Executive, Service Manager, and Service Technician. Choose Sales Manager here, as the Sales Executive will report to the Sales Manager in the organization. Enable this checkbox if you want users in the sales executive role to view each other's data. Now, according to this hierarchy, a sales manager can access the sales executive's records, whereas sales executives are limited to access only their own records and the records of other users in the sales executive role. Now, let's create a profile. Biggin already comes with the administrator and standard profiles. You can clone either of these profiles to create a new custom profile. Go to the Profiles tab and click the Add New Profile button here. I'll clone the standard profile here to create a customized profile for sales executives. Set the permissions here. Let's say you want to restrict the profile's access workflows. Disable this button here. Now users assigned to the sales executive profiles can't access workflow rules. Similarly, you can customize other permissions here. Once you're done, hit Save. With that, we've created roles and profiles for this organization. Please remember, roles let you define data visibility based on the hierarchy, whereas profiles let you control who has access to which features. And you can access only one role and one profile to a user. Next stop, inviting users. Switch to the Users tab. Click Add New User button right here. Enter the details and assign a role and profile to them. Once you click Invite User, an invitation email will be sent to that user. We suggest you ask the user to check their spam folder if the email doesn't land in their inbox. The user will be added to your Biggin account once they accept the invitation by clicking on the invitation link from the email they receive. We finally invited users to join the account, so let's add some data for them to work on. There are multiple ways to add data to your account, and I'll walk you through two common methods, manually creating a record and importing records in bulk from a spreadsheet. First, let's see how to add a deal to the sales pipeline manually. Go to the Deals module and click the Add New Deal button. Add the required information and then choose the pipeline sub-pipeline, and or the corresponding stage. Associate the customer and product to the deal and click Save. You can see that the deal is now added to the qualification stage in the retail sales pipeline. Let's now look to import records in bulk. We have the data available in a spreadsheet, and in a few clicks we can import it into this account. It's important to follow a specific order while importing records to ensure that all the related records are properly mapped. For example, if we import deals first, then we won't have any company or customer to associate the deals with, and we'll end up spending a good amount of time manually mapping each customer to a deal. So to avoid that hassle, let's import the records in this order. Companies number one, contacts two, products three, Deals 4th, Notes 5, and finally Tasks 6. For the sake of this video, let's assume we've already imported Companies module. So we're going to import data into the Customers module now. Go to the Customers module, click the button here and select Import Customers. Please make a note of the checklist on the right and ensure the data in your spreadsheet follows the norms. There are four stages in this import process, and the first stage is to upload the spreadsheet here. Please ensure you don't leave any mandatory fields blank in the file. Second, choose what you want to do with the records in the file. Add as new contacts, update existing contacts, or both. In this case, let's choose Add as new contacts. Third, map the fields in your file to the fields in the Biggin account. And for the last stage, let's assign owners to these records and add any appropriate tags. You can choose the mapped column from your file to assign the records to the specific user IDs 
or email addresses of Biggin users added to a separate column in the imported file. Or you can choose the From Biggin option to assign one user as the record owner for all the records imported from this file. Click Finish and you'll be notified by a pop-up and email once the import is complete. With that, we've completed the basic setup. We've created pipelines, customized modules, created roles and profiles, invited users to the account, and finally, we've added data into the Biggin account. Next, let's set up the communication channels in Biggin. First up, we have emails. Email is still the most popular and preferred communication method businesses use. By configuring your email account in Biggin, you can send or receive emails right from your Biggin account. I'm going to configure a Gmail account now, and once that's set up, I can send and receive emails related to my customers from right within Biggin. Go to Settings, scroll down to Channels here, and click Email. Choose Gmail. The server details are filled out automatically for Gmail. Choose either public or private under the email sharing permissions. If you choose public, your email correspondence with a contact can be seen by other users in this organization who've configured their email accounts. Finally, click Save. Now, I can send or receive emails from my Biggin account. There's no need to switch between email apps and Biggin to view related emails anymore. Plus, I can view the email interaction I had with contacts on their details pages. Next, let's configure telephony. Setting up your phone with Biggin will save you time. Indeed, you can save time spent on manually logging each call in your Biggin account by setting up your phone service in Biggin. With the phone functionality in place, you can make and receive calls directly from Biggin, and the calls will be logged inside the Activities module. We provide two options when it comes to setting up your phone. Zoho's built-in soft phone service for those who don't have an account with a PBX vendor or, in case you already have phone numbers from providers like RingCentral or TELUS, you can integrate with them. They're listed right in our marketplace. As this dealership doesn't have a PhoneBridge account, I'm setting up the Zoho soft phone service. Let's go to Settings and scroll down to Channels. Click the Phone option here. Click Set up Phone. Now click Buy a Number to purchase local and toll-free numbers. You can select the country and the number type from the options available. Please note that the process of purchasing a phone number for your business varies depending on the country you choose. While phone numbers in some countries can be purchased right away from Biggin, certain countries have stricter regulations when it comes to purchasing phone numbers. In such cases, you'll have to fill in some additional info about your business and raise a request through this form. Our support team will process these requests and get back to you as quickly as possible. Please note that the cost of purchasing numbers will also vary based on the country and number type you choose. And your usage costs depend on this as well. We recommend that you recharge your phone credits in Biggin periodically to ensure continuity in your phone service. So our communication channels are also set. Let's take a quick tour and check out the features we've configured. First, head to the Pipelines module and take a look at the Record Details page. The Record Details page provides all the information you have for each record. Simply click on the pipeline here to change the stage of the record. The Timeline tab shows you the changes that have occurred in the record in chronological order. You can add notes to the record and even tag other users in your notes from the Notes tab. You can log three kinds of business activities in Biggin, tasks, events, and calls. This section displays all open and closed activities related to this record. You can also create activities from here directly. You can find the emails related to the records in this tab. You can also send emails directly from the Record Details page. You can view the number of days a record is present at each stage using the Stage History tab. This will help you identify where and why the record is stuck and streamline the process. Upload files related to the record via this tab. 
And finally, the Cars tab will show you the products associated with this deal. Let's head to the Activities module next. Here you can track different business activities, like following up with customers, booking test rides, sending vehicles for registration, and so on. With a streamlined system that reminds users at the right time, there's a high chance users will miss out on these activities. In Biggin, you can create tasks and set due dates and reminders for them so that you don't overlook any business activities. With telephony already set up, the inbound and outbound calls made via the PhoneBridge system are logged automatically. Furthermore, you can also schedule calls using the Calls option. Use events to keep track of both online and offline meetings with your customers. Just like with tasks, you can set reminders for events and also recurring events. And with that, we've reached the end of the video. You now have a functioning Biggin account and it took us less than 30 minutes to get it up and running. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now, and if you need help, please reach out to us at support at